Hello friends, welcome back to the vlog and welcome to my egghead. <laughs> This week is kind of crazy. Next week is my birthday and so my birthday party is this weekend on top of all the other things I'm doing and I booked myself an appointment for tomorrow. That's very exciting. It's something I've always wanted to do and that is go to a Japanese head spa. I found out that there was one in North Van. I think Nina was the one that I like saw go to it and I was like I want to do that. So I booked it back in August for like a birthday treat and that's happening tomorrow and good thing I read the little like information card because I was going to wash my hair and it said don't wash your hair for 48 hours at least before the appointment and I was like already at that mark and now I just have to like let it go so I've slicked my hair back it is so dirty but I think it looks fine other than the fact that I look like an egg um but that's what we have to do for the treatment and yeah I feel like this week is just like full of appointments yesterday I went to Lowheed laser and I'm pretty well like done my laser hair removal which is amazing if I can recommend you to do one thing or to gift one thing or to ask for one thing for the holiday season, laser hair removal is absolutely game changing. I have had it on my underarms, I've had it on my like Brazilian and that's the part that we're like done now basically. There is like nothing left and it's amazing. I cannot recommend it enough. It is like such a minimal amount of pain and I'm not gonna lie, like it's uncomfy. It's really, it really does suck in the moment but the results are so, so worth it. I think I've been getting treatments for like over a year now. And essentially I went in for my appointment yesterday. She had a look and she said we shouldn't treat it. If anything comes back, then I'll go back in and get another round. But for the most part, it's like barely there. And it just feels amazing to be mostly done that or hopefully done that. And there's like nothing left, which is so exciting. And so I didn't have to have that treatment yesterday, which was amazing. And I did end up having soft light laser, which is a laser that goes on my upper lip. Of course you can have it anywhere, but it basically just takes the pigment right out of the hair follicle. And my upper lip is somewhere that I've been constantly treating, but the hair is too light to do laser hair removal. So soft light laser is like a non permanent option which is really good and it just feels like a little bit of like almost like a candle flicker kind of across your upper lip it's really quick and easy you don't even need like numbing or ice or anything and so that's what I ended up getting done yesterday but yeah feels kind of crazy I feel like I have so many appointments this week so I did that yesterday at Lowheed laser which is great um tomorrow's the head spot and then on Friday I'm getting a like facial laser done which I've only ever done something like this which was clear and brilliant and this one is like the moxie laser so I'm gonna try it out see how I like it and yeah I'm very excited it's like a full beauty treatment week I also feel like I haven't vlogged in a while so I feel like I'm gonna be all over the place in this video but I have a lot of packages I want to share with you guys as well as the stuff I picked up from the Amazon Prime sale I feel like now's a good time to share those items with you so for Amazon Prime day I purchased a couple things that I had been wanting for a very long time things that have been in my cart one of them i think i've been wanting this for like over a year and it came at the absolute perfect time this is an eye mask massager renfo iris one whatever that is it is the coolest thing if you suffer from migraines this is so so great it's an eye mask that just obviously goes on your eyes i like to shift it up a little bit more because then it really tenses and So it <laughs> makes noises, it tells you what to do, and then it massages, has this beautiful lullaby little song, and I don't know if you guys can see it moving, but it like, it massages your temples around your eyes. It's not like too much, you can obviously tighten it or loosen it, and I'm gonna turn that off now. Bye. Goodbye. It is so, so great, and I've been dealing with like a five day migraine it's like a little bit easier today but when it was bad it was really 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 bad and this helps so much it also heats up and I'm I knew I would like this and I knew that I would use it I just didn't ever bite the bullet and buy it and I finally did and I'm so happy I did I love it so very much and so yeah I wanted to recommend that I'm so impressed with it I've used it like every day since I got it it's also just nice like even if you don't have a migraine and you like need help relaxing putting this on before bed and taking note of like relaxing and breathing and having the massage it's all very nice so highly recommend that the other thing i got were these cups they're so cute again another thing i've been wanting i thought they'd be beautiful for iced coffee they come with a lid and a nice glass straw and they're just so cute i've heard so many great things about these teeth whitening strips and they're non-toxic and i have used crest white strips 
as long as I can remember so I thought I would give these a go they're from Lumex and you get like seven treatments it says it whitens without sensitivity so I will definitely be trying these out this week before my party and see how I like them and the last thing I feel like is a Amazon staple and I know so many people already have this but I had yet to purchase it and I'm very excited to organize it it's a little pill case which is great because I always carry so many supplements and pills with me especially migraines all that kind of stuff I need to have these things on hand and it's nice that this has a bunch of different compartments and that it has magnetic closure obviously great for travel but I think I'll probably end up using Using this in every single bag because then it's all organized and I have everything with me that's everything I picked up from the Amazon Prime Day sale let me know if you purchased anything during the sale in the comments down below and also let me know if you want like a holiday gift guide video this year I feel like sometimes I do those videos and just share a bunch of like gift recommendations so that's been kind of on my mind for like an upcoming video for the holiday season let me know if you'd like to see that. So it's around 3.45 ish now and I'm starting to feel a dip in energy because it is so gray outside. It is pouring rain. Cody and I are actually going to be leaving pretty soon. We have to go to the mall to do some returns and a few little shopping things at Park Royal. And then we're going to my friend Hannah and Brock's house. They got an apartment in the last couple months and so we haven't seen their new place and also we haven't met their dog which is crazy. The dog is like a teenager now. It's not even a puppy which yeah it's just been a really long time since we've seen them and so we're gonna go over there for dinner tonight which I'm very excited about and Alani New actually sent us some energy drinks so I'm drinking Witch's Brew which I know is like a really popular flavor around this time and Alani New is now available at Costco Canada which is very exciting so they sent those they sent the Kim Aid one which I haven't tried yet and then they sent like the variety pack that you can also get at Costco which I've actually already purchased because I bought them as soon as I saw them anyway this one tastes like sour candy apple and it's so good it's warm because I didn't put it in the fridge beforehand but it's really good <laughs> so yes that's where we're at we're gonna leave soon I'm gonna drink this I'm gonna get some more work done and also I have footage from the Estee Lauder event I went to last week so I was super lucky to be invited to this very very bougie workshop last week with Estee Lauder and their like nutritive line which is like so fancy like I'm talking like the cream is $400 fancy like it's insane anyway I did get some clips I wasn't vlogging last week but I figured I would capture the moment and so I will insert the footage from that event here up some like skincare goodies and makeup for my friend Hannah and this is the little toy we got for Harlow it is the cutest little hedgehog I think it's a hedgehog it is adorable and the squeaker in here is like more growly and like low it's so cute the cats are definitely interested in it but yeah I just wanted to show you this is the cutest dog toy I've ever seen and I hope Harlow likes it I've come over to the bar cart because I want to grab a bottle of red to bring with us tonight I'm not sure which one I want to do I had saintly which is delicious at Thanksgiving recently also this one I'm kind of thinking since I've had it for a while so I feel like we should try that one I also got these three recently in the mail I love vintage ink and yeah I'm excited to try all of these but I'm feeling called to possibly the rainbow one okay just kidding I'm gonna go with this grow wild rapturous red because I love this one and the bottle's really pretty and very Hannah that look beautiful please kiss it <laughs> Good morning friends it is now Wednesday I'm about 15 minutes early for my appointment which is great traffic was perfect I have my little like coffee here my pumpkin espresso that I'm gonna drink and enjoy and then I'm gonna go into the appointment I don't think I'm gonna bring my vlog camera just because this is like something I'm paying for and I don't know it's just like a really big camera and so I'm gonna just like try and get some clips on my phone but I'm so excited my hair is so dirty but also because I've been dealing with like a migraine the past like few days it's like better today but I'm so excited to have like my head massaged. I feel like that's exactly what 
my migraine needs. So I'm very much looking forward to this and I cannot wait to tell you guys how it is afterwards. For those of you in Vancouver, this head spa is called Yoko's and we're in North Van right by the shipyard. So I think it's in the Pinnacle Hotel building. Yeah, it's very like central. Okay, let's go. That experience was so lovely. It was so relaxing. I have never had my scalp massaged and scrubbed that well they pay so much attention to detail and it was so so luxe and so nice my head feels so light and like airy they don't like give you a blow it at the end or like fully like dry your hair like it's mostly dry but it is a little bit on the damp side which is fine because it's like pouring rain out the overall relaxation of everything was so lovely i'm gonna like debrief when i get home so i can properly talk about it and i tried to get as many clips as i could and yeah i'm just like floating it feels like such a like zen thing i picked up some lunch at Budaful. i just got like a warm bowl and i'm very excited to eat it i'm very hungry and then i'm gonna pop into the mall and grab some like nespresso pods i'm gonna check out h&m and possibly simon's possibly anthropology too so we'll see what happens it is the next day you did not miss anything i basically went into the mall and had no luck at any of the stores got my nespresso pods and went home and then I came home to a bunch of work I had to do, so filming just wasn't in the cards for last night. Of course, this whole video is about me going to the head spa, so I obviously had to sit down, and I'm gonna walk you through the whole experience, give you my final thoughts. So like I said, I had this appointment booked for quite a while. I booked it back in August because they're booked out quite far, and you do have to put down a deposit. I put down $120 to reserve. So you walk in, and you immediately get asked to put on a robe and put on slippers. They have like a little coat closet that you can get changed in. Super nice robe slippers all very cute and then i got to sit down at the chair and the view from the chair is so beautiful especially in the fall all the leaves were like so gorgeous it was a miserable day as you guys saw it was like pouring rain but the view was really lovely and they ask if you want like tea there was a couple different options but i just went with the green tea and they bring it out on like a little tray with a little snack which is obviously so nice micah was the one that was doing my treatment and so the first thing we did was do a scalp analysis i didn't get any clips of the like scans from before but at the end i have some before and afters so we scanned my hair and we basically got to know that my hair is oily which i kind of knew i didn't I don't really know what type of hair I have necessarily other than thick <laughs> and so the oily part makes a lot of sense I know my mom has really oily hair and so it's probably genetics but oily dandruff is actually something that I have and I knew I've I know I've suffered with dandruff my whole life it's something I always dealt with as a kid and is more apparent now that I'm like dark brunette as well and so we wanted to kind of treat that and I feel like there's been so much talk about continuing your scalp care or your skincare rather to your scalp just like it you would on your face like taking care of your scalp is obviously the root of your hair growth and all that and so a good happy healthy scalp is one that is transparent there's nothing around the root of the hair follicle and you'll see from the before and after pictures they're quite drastically different keep in mind also my hair was extremely dirty when I went which I think is the point but you could clearly see like there's flakes here and sometimes you'll see like redness and irritation inflammation all that kind of stuff and so we kind of just like briefly walked through what my hair is looking like at the moment and how we're gonna treat it and then she laid out a bunch of products and walked me through all the different steps we're gonna use obviously this is a very extensive regimen but it was very interesting the line that they use I actually spoiler alert I picked up some products which I'll show you but the line they use is called Furter Furter Paris I don't know it's a natural hair care line which is interesting because obviously with my job and you know sharing information with you guys I try out a lot of hair care products and I haven't really dived into natural hair care all that much just because I love what I use already there's always different opinions when it comes to hair products and like what's actually working for your hair and what's not obviously take this with a grain of salt use what you like whatever but I was curious about all these products they all smelled really good they were all derived from nature with really like natural essential oils and different things like that she walked me through all the products that we were going to use that day and then we started of the treatment I got like a little like neck massage to kind of start us off and then she applied a couple of the products to like my scalp and I think my ends and then I went on to use the steamer for 10 minutes so it's like basically you're in a headband and it's like enclosed and then it's steaming your hair you can see the steam's quite you know quite apparent and so I sit there for 10 minutes while that is steaming and then we go and we sit at the sink and the sink chairs are amazing 
as I was sitting there, I was like, I feel like all hair salons need to have chairs like this because it is so comfortable. They basically tuck you in like a little bug and it is so nice. So you're there with your robe. They give you a blanket. They give you support under your knees. They wrap your feet in like little towels. So you're all just like, I was so cozy. The blanket was so soft and it was so, so lovely. And then from there, they wash your hair. I think I have a feeling she probably washed my hair about three times because you always wanna be double shampooing. That's something I've known about, but also something I can share with you guys. It does seem to be something across the board with hair care lately is double cleansing your hair is important because the first time you're getting all the product out and then the second time the product's actually working to do what it needs to do. And so lots of scrubbing, like lots of amazing techniques. There was one she did that was like, kind of felt like this and like aggressively, it felt so, so nice. And yeah, there was just like a lot of massaging. I didn't film any of that, but the full head massage thing, all of the products really got worked in my hair. There was like um, another kind of steaming moment when I was at the sink. I'm trying to remember, cause I was like probably half asleep. So we worked a lot on the scalp. There was a lot of massaging. They also do a little like hand massage, which is really nice. And then she did also massage my legs a little bit in between, I guess, when product is sitting on your hair. And yeah, the overall experience was just really, really lovely. I feel like I have, again, never had my head scrubbed like that before. It felt really, really good. It felt like she really got in there. And once we're done at the sink we go back to the chair and she scans my head again and we get to see before and afters which is really exciting so i'll insert some clips here clear translucent almost see looking stuff indicates greater blood circulation and lymph flow. okay and when people get on the good scalp care and then return in about six seven weeks time the first change we see will be the translucency like that's how much it comes in increased vascular activity okay and you want to see a crater around each of those hair shafts that means, that means that the follicles are now wide open. It's okay. allowing more oxygen and nutrients to get access to the hair bulb. So it's like that, that um, lack of translucency mm -hmm. and those follicles are clogged up, right? You want to see those craters. Wow. Okay. Um, here on the top area. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. So that's, that's the money shot. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, that's the side. Yeah. Wow. Okay. okay. And you can see very clearly on the pictures like how oily and like the buildup and everything on my scalp was before and how shiny and transparent or rather translucent the scalp is in the second photo, which is really, really good. And that's exactly what we wanted. Obviously being able to physically see the difference in a regime like this is really, really cool and super interesting to know what type of hair I have and what I need to do to keep it super healthy. And basically, yeah, we went back to the chair. She like blow dried my hair a little bit. They don't give you like a blowout or anything. And I will say that my hair, it while it felt soft and it felt really like light and airy, which is really nice, because nice, my scalp also got a serum put onto it that was like peppermint it was so cooling it felt so so good and that is just to treat like inflammation she also said that like because I dance and I have my hair up a lot I should be really careful about that which is something we obviously all know don't tie your hair back too tight which is you know catch me at the beginning of this video wearing my hair so tight <laughs> but that's just what happens with my style of life <laughs> and so there's no helping that but I can try and be a little bit more careful and speaking of tying your hair back like that I saw on the camera the difference between my hair back here and my hair at the front it was so much thinner and so much more brittle which is obviously very true because I use heat I tie it back like all these things and it was very clear on camera the difference and that was pretty much the appointment I was there just over two hours I think we started a bit late but the whole experience takes about two hours and the only like con I would say is just the price tag it is a very expensive service I always know going into these things that I have longer and thicker hair so I expect to pay more however with the $120 deposit I kind of thought it'd be roughly around the same for the other half I was wrong it was around 175 so in total it was kind of a pricey endeavor obviously this was for my birthday and as a treat and also to share the experience with you guys so I'm not mad at it it was really lovely I feel like I learned a lot I got a really beautiful relaxing experience out of it and also something different than going for like a facial or massage it's something I hadn't done before and like I said I've been really wanting to try it so worth the money but just know going into this that it is not the cheapest experience overall would definitely recommend going to Yoko's I thoroughly enjoyed it Mika was so knowledgeable overall if it's something you're interested in and you have the means to do so I do recommend it I think it was really 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 fun and especially if you don't know anything about your hair then it might be definitely worth it I did want to share the two products I ended up picking up these are also 
not super cheap. <laughs> I think each product was like $58. Yeah, $58 for shampoo and conditioner, but I was curious and I was actually running out of like shampoo and conditioner. So that's how I justified it. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. I'm just gonna show you. So this is the Neo Pure Shampooing for oily scalp. They had a like oily dandruff one and then a dry dandruff one, which I thought was really cool. So this is the oily one. And she said actually to shampoo every single day, not forever, but just to get the microbiome of your scalp kind of back on track. So we'll see if I do that because I don't wash my hair every single day because it's such a task. So maybe every second day, We'll try and do it, but I'm going to be double cleansing with this and this doesn't have sulfate, so it's gonna take some time to really lather it in, but I'm excited to try it and to use it on my own. And this is a super interesting product. This is the Ritual Nutrition Mask but it's the intense nourishing mask and this is meant to be a conditioner. This is super cool. It is very, very thick and I'm, yeah, just excited to try this out. Just a thick mask, which I feel like even for hair masks, they don't normally come this thick. So this will be a new kind of product experience for me. Please let me know in a comment down below if this is something you would be interested in experiencing or if you have done this before, let me know your thoughts on your experience where you got it done. I would be so curious to hear from you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have a couple more exciting videos coming very shortly. Like I said, my birthday is this weekend, so I have a whole party vlog coming. I'm very excited about that. And then just some fun like birthday adventure things on the horizon. So it's gonna be a good weekend. I'm very excited and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day, bye.